Adrian, I know where we live. What do you think? I'm stupid? Oh. I'm not as dumb as you think I am. I feel like this is the biggest this fight before. that they've had. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mary and today I'm continuing on with the Rocky franchise with Rocky 5. Now, when I posted my Rocky 4 reaction video, I asked in that video, should I even bother with the fifth Rocky movie? Because I've heard nothing but bad things in the comment section. But a lot of people surprisingly said that I should continue with Rocky 5. I shouldn't just not watch it and move on to the Creed movies. I should watch it because it's integral to the story. And I love the story. I love Rocky as a character. I love Adrian. I love their love for each other. I want to know what happens as well. I'm glad that I'm actually filming this because in my actual downtime, because this is what I do for, you know, a job i don't watch a lot of movies for the first time outside of youtube so the fact that i can actually watch this with you guys makes me really happy so thank you so much for your comments in that video before we jump into this i want to remind you guys that the uncut version is going to be over on patreon the link for that is in the description bar and in the pin comments below you just need a copy of the film yourself so that you can watch it along with me and there'll be a timer up on my screen too so you know exactly which part that I am up to. Down in the description bar and in the pinned comments, you can also find all of my social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, TikTok, Facebook, as well as my two other channels, my gaming channel and my vlog channel too. So with all of that said, guys, let's jump into this fifth Rocky movie. I must break you. Little recap, it's always great. Bert Young. I actually never knew his name before. Right. Also, someone in the comments section of my last Rocky video said that Sylvester Stallone used to do porn. So then I googled all actors who have done porn before and there's actually a list. I didn't know. Literally, I had no idea that there were so many Hollywood actors that first were in porn. And I definitely didn't suspect Sylvester Stallone would be in that list. Don't worry, guys. We all know what happens in the end. Here we go. <laughs> Didn't even need to kill him. Well, I doubt it'd be possible. He's a pretty strong dude. Drago is, as I said last time, a tank. Oh my god. Talking about Sylvester Stallone doing porn. Of course, he'd have no problem to be completely butt naked. Oh, is he okay? Well, this must be just right after the fight. Sometimes a lot of time passes after the recap in the beginning, but it doesn't look like that's the case right now. Oh, Rocky. He fights so hard that he was thinking that he was going to die. Oh, oh my God. Look at his face. I can't stop my hands from shaking. Oh my God. Oh, shit. No. No? I just died. Tired? You need the hospital. That's not making sense. Oh, oh, I don't like to see him like this. This country is very proud of him. Look at that welcome. Oh, he's better. Why do you call your kid the kid? <laughs> oh, nice. Press reception. God. She got fluent in vodka. <laughs> <laughs> He's in perfect physical condition. You know, absolutely. I, I, I think the doctor should never fight, no. Stay out of the ring. Doctor should never fight. Who the hell is this guy? There's always someone new. George Washington Duke. What are you doing, dude? Knows my reputation for promoting some of the finest extravaganzas. Union Kane, a chance to challenge you for the heavyweight championship. He just got back from a big fight. Jesus. To be held in Japan, letting it go. Japan. God. Don't you consider this a public responsibility to respond now rather than later? Oh my God. you first. Oh. Jesus. You know, if you weren't with me, I never would have done as good. Having you is like being born all over again. Oh God, they're so annoying. Handled well, just walking away and smiling. 
you'll get it. George Duke, I thought, was a promoter for Apollo, but I might have been wrong. He, I think, is a new character. Because at first I didn't recognize him, then he's like promoter, promoter, and I was like, oh, maybe he's, he was with Apollo. But now I'm thinking he's just a new character. I could be wrong. My memory's not the greatest. Look at this place. I'm um, sweet home. You'd like to dance, huh? <laughs> well, I'll warm you up, young lady. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> almost oh, yeah, well, maybe I'll take you upstairs and violate you like a parking meter. Jesus. Talk dirty like that. That was so innocent. Is that me? Oh, yeah, that's you. Oh, that's cute. Uh, that's Talented kid. That. Who's this? <gasps> that's Madame DuPont. French teacher? Really? <laughs> How old is this kid? Knock, knock. Who's there? Madame. Madame who? Madame <laughs> puts caught in the door. <laughs> <laughs> such a good kid and such a good dad. Look at my face. Do I look like a raccoon? Yeah, a little bit. No. Nah. <laughs> hey, do a little. He'll heal up. Hey, you ought to see the other guy's knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> good night. Okay. So cute. Glad you're home. Me too. That's what I need. It was a mistake. What happened? Holly! Holly, do you know what you did? What did he do? Fuck oh, no. Adrian, what's wrong? What is wrong? Talk. Oh, come on. What'd you do, Paul? He gave power. Power of attorney to our accountant. I oh, why? Sign a tax extension. Tax extension? That was a power of attorney. What an idiot. Why does he have authority to huh? do anything? The money, everything, it's all gone. What? You lost millions. Millions? You didn't pay your tax returns in six years. Six years? Your house was fully paid for. There's nearly $400,000 still outstanding. Oh my God. Why not a couple of more fights? With your popularity... Couple of more fights? Fighting's the ticket. I said he's retired. Fucking poorly. You tell him I'll fight Kane. I don't care. Anywhere, anytime. Oh no. Oh God. You know you have to see a doctor. Adrian, I don't need to see no doctor. Will you do it for me? Yes, a doctor. Because of the continuous violent blows to the head, oh. he developed a condition particular to boxers called cavum septic. What the heck? The in the membrane surface neurons in this area have also been traumatized. Oh that's my god, that's a big that area. It means that you've suffered some damage to the brain. Brain damage. The effects are irreversible. Irreversible? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, this no, is tragic. Lucky. This is what's good for you. Well, there's a couple easy ones, right? There should be another way. Rocky, I don't care about the money. It's you. That's all that <sighs> Oh my god, I'm getting goosebumps, dude. <laughs> Brain damage and broke. That's how we start in this movie. Rocky retires. Sue's former accountant. Balboa estate auction. Holy shit. This is a very sad beginning. Hey, oh my up. god. Oh, I'm so angry at Paulie. As if you wouldn't read a document like that. I wouldn't even be talking to Paulie at this point. At least they have some money from selling things, but they had a debt, man. $400,000. Everything that they sold would have probably gone to that. Going through some of the stuff up there in the and... His old clothes. What's this doing in your ears? <laughs> <laughs> Her old glasses. I remember when you took them off. It was the very first time I ever kissed you, remember? Mm. They're so fucking hey, cute. Go on, go out for a little bit, you know, just take a little walk. So I don't feel better. Poor Rocky. I honestly don't know why they've kept Paulie in their lives for so long. In the fourth movie, he had a really nice moment with Rocky and I gave him the benefit of the doubt. But now he's pissed me the fuck off all over again. Is forcing a man with brain damage to fight when he was well and truly ready for retirement. Probably overdue for retirement, if anything. Mighty Mix. <laughs> I miss Mick. Look at this place, man. Completely abandoned. Looks like shit. It's the only thing he has. Honestly, thank you, Mickey, for signing this place off to Rocky. Oh, his voice. Hey, I didn't hear no bell. Okay. Oh, Mickey, I miss him so much. Oh, I've missed him. You guys don't even know. 
That Apollo won't know what hit him. You're going to roll over him. Back in the day when Apollo was the opponent. That you're here and doing as well as you're doing gives me. No. What do you call it? A motivation? <laughs> motivation. What with you, kid? Boy, I got a reason to go on. Oh, Mick. And I'll never leave you. And I'll never leave you until that happens. <sighs> oh, Mick. He was such a dad to him. This is the favorite thing that I have on this earth. Oh. Now I'm giving it to you. Oh. And if you ever get Hoyt. Hoyt. <laughs> get up, you son. <laughs> Mickey loves you. Oh, loves. Oh. Mick was actually so sweet. I never knew I needed to see the scene. You was each. And he's still watching over you, mate. Oh, Rock. Don't worry, Rock, that made me cry too. And I wasn't even involved. Hmm. <laughs> what are people doing? This is not private. Oh my God, I would hate this so much. It's only, it's only temporary, man. This is the worst. It's the worst. Start living like human beings again. Listen, Mr. Duke, we're living like human beings. You ought to try it sometime. <laughs> Yes, Adrian, I love you. Rocky, remember me, I'm Bubba's mother. Oh. oh, yeah. You used to use his head for a punching bag. She's getting interrupted everywhere. Ain't this where the atomic cooking shop used to be? Oh, it's closed. It's called Urban Blight. Yeah. Urban Blight. What a smart kid. Hey, Paulie, I want to talk to the kid private, like, you know, man to smaller man, all right? Man <laughs> to smaller man. It's a war stop. Paulie, just fuck off. These kids ain't like... Listen to me, they ain't like no personalities that you grew up with. They're different. They're different to how you were brought up. It's like every day you learn something new and every day I forget something new. It's because your brain damage. <laughs> Don't be afraid to tell me because we got to stick together because what are we? Family. Home uh, team. Home team. You know, oh, got all that. that. You know, it was real tough then, but... I think he can handle it, don't you think? Moving schools too. I feel like he's not gonna fit in here. The rich boy in a very hey, different high school. <laughs> That's well, getting old. He does it a lot. And don't mess with nobody's girlfriend. <laughs> don't like How you doing? My name's Tommy Gunn. <laughs> Your name like that, you better be tough. Yeah, <laughs> Tommy <laughs> Gunn. And now that I'm 20, I'd just like to show you what I got. Oh, God. Uh, Mr. Robert uh, Robert oh, 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 my God. <laughs> Poor Tommy Gunn. Urban Light, what are you going to do? Hey, Rocky, Rocky. What'd you say? Urban Light. <laughs> it's Blight. <laughs> Poorly. Not like your Mark Twain once said. Virtue has never been as respectable as money. Him and found him on the streets. Now, this is your medical report. It's not so good, but we can work around it. I thought it was confidential. We could use one more page. Adrian, she's found out. Are you trying to talk my husband into fighting again? Talking business now, darling. Darling? I'm offering you your last golden opportunity to dump this loser image. God. Opportunity for who? For you to make money, for him to be disabled? Yeah, exactly. You You're a true champion, a true product of the people. Don't sell it. God, he's such a money-making machine. Money. In a bad way. Money. Capitalist at his worst. He's done! He's done fighting! She's yelling at him. Maybe we ought to sign Mrs. Balboa to fight Kane, huh? Like fuck she's you. The in the oh, fuck off. She's the one that gives a shit about him. I'll get him. I'll get him still. Uh, you guys want privacy now? I'll be upstairs. Now he's willing to walk away. Rocky, I'm sorry. I, I just takes one bad hit. She's just worried. I wanted to be there so I could be close to you. She didn't talk about that first with him. Uh, yeah. Just give me goosebumps again. So many emotional moments in this movie. My head's a little busy right now. I f he'll come back. I feel like Tommy Gunn will come back. I'll fight that boy right now. Oh my god. Shut the fuck up. I'm so done with these young fighters. Yeah, listen to your manager. Pipe down, buddy. Kids still smoking super young. Oh my gosh, leave Rocky Jr. alone. See them pointing at him. What? Oh my. Why? How is he a punk? It's his oh. coat. <gasps> oh, I'm so sad that Rocky was right about this place. Oh, 
Rich boy, that's what it comes down to. They hate the fact that he's privileged. He can't help it. Fully hustling. Hey, Rich, 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 good friend. At least he's working here. Hey, let's see what you got there, kid. Let's see Tommy Gunn. You got the headgear? Nah, I don't need one. He's gonna get his down. Cajonis. Jab now. Go side to side. That's it. Whoa! 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 Tommy! Calm down! Whoa! Tommy! Stop! Tommy! You're going nuts! What is wrong? He's a psychopath! Hey, what's the matter with you, man? Get out of the ring! I'm sorry. Get out of the ring! I'm sorry. What do you think? Well, I think I don't think you listen too good. You, you. Well, not on this date, okay? He's like Mickey. Hey, well, I gotta work with these kids here. You guys get ready. Okay? He's like Mickey right now. Manage. Yeah. Ha! Unless you think I manage, eh? I ain't never been man. You know the gentleman that owned this place. That was a manager. Hey, you could always change it up. Get money by managing. It's an idea, and it doesn't involve you getting hurt. Ugh, Tommy Gun. He needs to calm down. I feel like this girl likes him. I'm Jewel, if you want to know. His dad said, don't mess with people's girlfriends. I know you can't tell by the way I look, but I ain't like the other kids around here. Oh, are you different? Are you special? Hmm, you know, for an Italian kid, you ain't got a bad butt. <laughs> Just checking him out right in front of him. First money I get, I'm going to Miami. Hey, at least it'd get you out of Rocky and Adrian's lives. Hey, you go if you want to, Paulie. Mr. Babo? Hey, look at this. Tommy. Go. Tommy. <laughs> Why are you still... I will go home. I talk to your family people. I got no family people. Well, really? That's sad. People, but I'm hungry, like you were. Oh. Because I knew that if anybody could make me a winner, it was you. Well, that's actually We're pretty hungry. sweet. Anything you want me to do, I'll do. Oh. I, all I'm asking for is a chance. Mm. And just one shot. Maybe this could be the answer to his problems. I'd say you got nothing to lose. Well, you know, what do you think is right? A baseball bat across the face of your nice. <laughs> Holy for fuck's <laughs> sake. Just pretend the guy's like a balloon. Just if you pop him hard, these guys just go away. I don't know about that advice. That's why I'm going to get mangled. Oh, you ain't going to get mangled. Might. Teach me how to fight. What? I'm about to get beat so bad if I don't know how to throw a few deadly punches, you know. Deadly. My old man, he used to drink a lot. Come home, look to punch on me, you know. Oh, that sounds terrible. That me so bad I couldn't walk for a week. Jesus. Now, when I get in the ring, it's like uh, all I see is him. Oh, well, that makes sense. Hey, yo, Tommy, at least you had an old man to knock out, you know. <laughs> that just made things a bit awkward. Hey, Paul, what are you telling the kid things like this? Hey, it's the fittest of the survival. Survival hey, of the Tommy, fittest. Where are you staying tonight? You've got a place. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll find some place to stay. Hey, oh, what the? Got He's got nowhere to stay? This is what it's all about. Oh, what do you keep doing up down here? Would you get a chance to do this? That's cool. That's really sweet. Would you get a chance to do this, kid? After school. That's really sweet. That's actually really sweet. My Mickey gave me this, and before he departed, it was Rocky Marciano's cufflink that we had fixed. It's really sweet. About Mickey, I want to show you something. Come on. Oh, this is just giving him inspiration. Hey, Dad, I met this really nice girl today. Better than Sarah. Wait, 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 don't, don't, hey, don't change the station. Oh, poor kid. You see, fear is a fighter's best friend. You know, it ain't nothing to be ashamed of. I feel like Rocky's really excited about the potential. Anyway, these are the things about his kid. If you want, I'd like this poor kid. Does this mean you're going to manage me? Absolutely. Hey. Really? Home team? Good, Tommy. I'm going to show you a lot of things. This poor kid, he's already feeling super alone in this school. It's a new place. Come on, let's have it. I got nothing. This never happened in Australian schools. God, he bleep this. Oh, God. Jesus. You know, maybe it's not home. No, Priest is always home. Oh, Rocky. Oh, the Priest. No. If you could throw us down a couple blessings, you know, like, uh -huh. I don't mess up being a manager. And, and B, that Tommy does as good as I think he can do. He's he, going he, back right to now. his roots. I don't think Tommy's got a religious bone in his body. He's like, is that how I do it? Hey, man, what'd you do this for? Hey, it don't hurt having an angel in your corner, you know. He's so excited. He has, like, this new vision for his life. Just like Mickey. He's found a reason to live. He's found his new purpose. 
it's what's keeping him alive right now. Not that he's old and he's gonna die, but it's just a local community fight. I wonder if there's any money involved in fights like these. I feel weak. No, no, listen to me. I feel listen weak. To Shut up. Listen to me. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Remember in the base we we was talking about fear and how it's like this fire, huh? He's good at this. Oh, when the time is right, and you see the opening, explode all over this guy, okay? Oh and my god. Him, okay? Heart and fire. Heart and fire. Okay. He's good at this. He's very motivational. Remember, I'm like this angel sitting on your shoulder. Ain't gonna let nothing happen to you. Oh, Rocky as a manager is actually very sweet. Oh, his poor kid is so rejected. Feels like he's being forgotten by his dad. No longer his number one. Balboa's pupil wins second. I love the little fighting montages. And look, Rocky Jr.'s trying as well. Balboa's clone clubber's opponent. Rocky Jr. needs Rocky, not Paulie. Oh, look at that. He's training too. Rocky's Robert rolls to 11 0. Wow. Damn. He's so young, though. He's like, what? He's like 12. He must actually, he must be 13 at the very least if he's in high school. Mm. The thing about Rocky Jr. is he's not only training his physical strength and becoming physically stronger, but he's also really intellectual. He's really smart. I wouldn't want to see him get brain damage. <laughs> That'd be sad. At the steps. Oh my gosh. Again. Yeah. Oh, Money he's ready. Oh, he's ready. Oh, he's ready now. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, my God. Rocky Jr. Oh, this is crazy. Holy crap. No one's going to mess with him anymore. And everyone witnessed that. No one's going to bully him again. He got his coat back. Yay. Yeah, I got no problems with that. See you later. See you later. No more oh, bullying. Oh, I'm so happy. I got my coat back. Look, I got my coat. <laughs> oh, hey, listen, I got to get back with time. Work out and cool down. Oh, okay. my gosh. That's just so sad. Robert used to be his number one. I feel bad for him. Watch out, Union Cage. Oh, shit. People are noticing him everywhere. <laughs> Look at Rocky's face in that photo. So funny. Oh, shit. He's so good. And he's young, too. This is like the very beginning of his career. He's got his new fans, too. Dynamic duo. Oh, that's so funny. She put it down for the birds to shit on. Tommy Gunn versus Jeff. Wow. What a transition for Rocky's career, but he's thriving and Tommy's thriving. Oh no. He's being poached. Hey man, now am I gonna get a shot to title? He's greedy. Tommy is greedy. Oh shit, he has a he's got a girl now too. Duke is one manipulative fucker, isn't he? Oh my god. Are you serious? He's given us some things too, you know. He's given us like a second shot, right? <laughs> That's what Mickey gave you. You just met this guy. And look at him. Look where he is. Be damn difficult you living in Rocky Shadow people calling his puppet. This is so bad. Where you going? You're going to be watching the parade go by. Rocky is pure. He's way too pure for these vultures. Rocky can still train you. My god, he's done a wonderful job. Now look here. Here's $20,000. $20,000? Merry Christmas. <laughs> Christmas gift of twenty thousand dollars? Holy fuck! You know this guy? You got a weird. Oh, it's, it's Paulie. Tell all the kids what you got in the bag. I got my laundry. <laughs> Paulie's the worst Santa I've ever seen. Clues, man. I don't need nothing. I don't need nothing. It's very important that you spend time with the family. Oh, really? How do you know what I want? Damn. You... 
Look, I ain't celebrating nothing, okay? Damn, he's turned into a little rocky. Do you remember last year when we had fun, when we had a good time? Aww. It ain't last year, and you ain't the same either. That's what happens, dude. That's what happens. You've been ignoring your son. You've replaced him with Tommy. I should have went to Miami when I had the chance. Yeah, you should have, honestly. Ollie, had enough of you. He's been here. It's Tommy this. Tommy that. You don't have no time for nobody, so I got no time for you. Yeah, that's fair, honestly. You said I would be number one to you. You said that and you lied. Damn, this kid. Tommy needed my help. So did I. Yeah, exactly. In this new place. Where are you going? Out. When are you coming back? Later. He's like 13 or 14. Season's greetings, Mrs. Balboa. Oh, this guy. Wow. Look at Tommy. Finally here. Merry Christmas, my lord. Greetings. Don't give him the Christmas present. I'd have to be blind if I didn't say a title shot isn't in the cards. Title shot. Now we're going to work beautifully together. Time to put some hustle behind this muscle. Yeah, you said that already. I got a little something personal to discuss with you. Oh, great. Rocky Mountain. Talk to you outside about a few things. Oh, this is so awkward. You're going to get a shot. Rock when you don't wake up, man. We're watching the parade go by. Just using the same words that Duke's been using to him. I'm signing papers with the man tomorrow. Oh, listen to me, Tom. You sign them papers, you're like his property. Just listen to him. He has experience. Listen. Mm. Wow. You ungrateful piece of shit. Oh no. And look what's. Oh god. Rocky. He was gonna give you the Mickey cufflings. Hey, Adrian, I know where we live. What do you think? I'm stupid? Oh. I'm not as dumb as you think I am. <sighs> I feel like this is hey, the biggest this fight no that they've had. You know Come on, I respect it's you. It's I respect you. can't respect me. Yes, I respect you. He doesn't oh, respect himself. I know how you feel. I know when somebody like Tommy comes along, you feel alive. Oh. But he's not you. He doesn't have your heart. Exactly. That's what Mickey knew. That's why you and Mickey were special. And you're not Mickey. And he's not you. Your son is lost. Yeah, he needs, he needs you. you. Yes. He makes you feel like you're winning again. But you're losing us. <laughs> God, this is such an emotional franchise. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to be such a little bitch all the time. It's just such an emotional series. <laughs> he's smoking. Hey, we're going to shore, huh? The hell are you doing, dude? You ain't going to hit him. The hell? It's not, not never hit his kid before. So maybe I'll wise up someday too. Such a little rebel now. I mean, the deal was we were supposed to be tight, right? What about Tommy? You tight with him too, huh? Fuck Tommy. I know I made a few mistakes, you know. That's, and I would love to hang out with you again. Aww. Home team. Aww. I fucking love this family. Knock, knock. Who's there? Tuna fish. You get tuna piano, but you cannot tune the fish. <laughs> <laughs> Tuna fish. Kane versus Gun. Oh, of course, he's got a boxing nickname. Boo! Boo! Yeah. Hey, come on, Tommy, do what you was told. In and out, side to side. Don't eat the jet. I wonder who's training him now. I guess Duke's people. Oh, hugging. Just hugging. Oh shit. He's like fighting with him. Oh my god. He's still rooting for Tommy regardless of what he did. He's fighting as well. Oh my god. It's like it's him in the ring. Holy shit. Calm down, Rocky. He can't hear you. It's like he's uh, been born again and Tommy is helping him because he's living vicariously through Tommy, not his son. His son's right there. So is Adrian. He won. He's now the heavyweight champion. He's the heavyweight champion of the world. <laughs> Adrian's like tone deaf. You're tone deaf, mate. The crowd hate him. Rocky has just got the purest, sweetest heart. He's still rooting for him. People hate it. Oh, please say Rocky. Say, 
Really? Wow. Oh, that is fucked. No, that is not okay. No, I fucking hate him now. I was thinking, okay, this guy has just lost his path. He's been influenced and he just completely ignored everything Rocky did for him. That is not okay. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he, that's his dad. Mm. It's not. He stayed with you when he had nothing. Just ignore him. Literally mute him. Block delete from your brain. The youngest heavyweight champion of all time. Please. Youngest as well. That's wild. What do you mean by paper champion? It means Kane's title was manufactured. He never won it from Balboa. Oh, uh, yeah, because Balboa retired. <laughs> People ain't taking him seriously. They don't respect him. Tommy Gunn beat a second rate fighter with so much class in his joy, he ought to be a chandelier. Shit! Shots fired. But a Rocky Balboa will never be. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Settle down. Your next fight, why don't you fight the redhead in the front row? I hear she comes real cheap. What about you? She was painful too, you know? I'd believe that. Tommy's just a kid. He's young. He needs to control his anger. Really? He wanted this from the start. He's so manipulative. And if he refuses, then you gotta insult him. You gotta dog him. He's not really giving Tommy a lot of choice. He's manipulating him and he's manipulating the situation because this is what he always wanted. Rocky Balboa. What the hell was that? Rocky Balboa. Oh, here we go. The cameras are out. Oh, fucking hell. I'm challenging to a fight. Anytime, any place, anywhere. Ain't nobody's robot. Nobody's boy. Cringiest shit I've ever seen. It's just sad. It's just a bum. Literal bum. Cringe as fuck. Look, I just want good things for oh, you. Yeah. And you're only in this for the money. Man, money? That's robot. Duke. He wants to get you and me in the ring. That's what he wants us to fight each other, you know? Hello, money, wake right? up. Right? Come on, come on. Yeah. Enough of the fantasy. Let's talk reality. This is not a fantasy. I would have taken you any time. Tell me you're a piece of garbage, you know that? Thank you, Paulie. Ain't none of my business. Come on, boy. Ain't none of my business. Ha! Oh, come on, Paulie. I want to hear it. Put your head in his own family and you, you bring these rat bums around here. Wake up to yourself. I'll just get out of here. <gasps> Don't. Oh! Oh! Shit! Oh, now he's angry. Now he's got that eye of the tiger. You knocked him down. Why don't you try knocking me down? Uh, street fight. This is not what Duke wanted. Oh man, he does anything for family. Tommy's fucking loose. He's cringe. He's fucking loose. Oh shit! Oh my god, you guys! I've been wanting to see this shit. Oh yes. You. Me was supposed to be like this, Tommy. You blew it. Oh my god, I got goosebumps all over my body again. Oh shit, he's coming back. Ah! Oh! Oh my god, he's crazy. He's fucking fighting everyone. Jesus Christ. And this is all being filmed, by the way. You look like absolute scum right now. Come on, Rock. Come on, Rock. No, come on, Rock. Come on. Fucking fight him. Fucking fight him. Oh my god. This is insane. Cameraman's just like, oh shit, I gotta move, I gotta move. Oh, they're so loud, those punches. The disrespect is disgusting. Tommy, you piece of shit. The brain damage is getting worse. Oh. All his fights are flashing right in front of him. If he dies, he dies. Come on, do it for Mickey. Do it for Mickey. Come on. Mickey loves you. Mickey is his angel. Get up, get up, get up. You fucking got this, King. 
Uh, one more round. How could he do this? I don't understand how human beings can be this way for money. I actually have no idea how this is going to go because I believe this is the last Rocky film and then it gets to the creeds. Oh, shit! <laughs> Duke is fucking dying at this. Oh, no. I don't like to see Rocky cop and punches. Touch me and I'll see. You fucking wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past you. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. This never ends. This fight is fucking relentless. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. His son's here now. <laughs> he took my room. Jab, jab! Holy shit. This is insane. I never expected a street fight in this film, but I'm loving it. People love the word bum in this franchise. Never heard it been used so much. Oh, fuck! Oh, Adrian's here too. Oh, she's at every fight, isn't she? Wouldn't be a rocky fight without Adrian there. Come on. Everyone wants Rocky to win. Yes! Rocky! 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 Yes. Ooh. Doing it! Yeah! In the face now! Do it! Another one! Another one! Come on! Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Amazing. Everyone loves your pal. Yeah, you just lost your prodigy. Come on, Touch me now, oh, he's like, I still want to punch. <laughs> oh, it's worth it. Yeah. Lucky. Oh, Lucky. my God. <laughs> the priest supports this. Hell yeah. Nice. Oh, lovely. Hey, wait, what's wrong with your ear? What's wrong with it? You got something growing in your ear. You got like, like, like a bump. You should know by now. <gasps> oh, he's giving it to his son. Oh, that's really cute. What do you think? You knew me? You look like the daughter that I always... <laughs> I've been running up and down these steps for 20 years. 20 years, wow. You're gonna love Picasso. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody. It's true. It's true. He's got the sweetest heart ever. With the amount of people that told me that Rocky Five was shit before I posted my Rocky Four video, by the way, I honestly was expecting a really, really terrible movie, but it really just wasn't that bad. Rocky went back to his roots, back to his hometown where he grew up where he spent majority of his life, where he gained his fame, where he launched his career, where Mickey trained him. So it was really nostalgic for me. I actually really liked it. I loved seeing him back in Philly. I loved seeing him back in his neighborhood where everybody was like, oh, hey, Rocky. Although it was like kind of annoying that he was getting interrupted all of the time and like he really didn't have too much privacy because of the fame. Him living in the mansion secluded away from the rest of the world. Obviously, he needed to do that because of the fame that he gained. However, his community love him. It was such a lovely surprise to see Mickey back even as a memory. It was super inspiring and it was exactly what Rocky needed, I think, to come back here and to reimagine his purpose as well. I wasn't expecting him to fight in this film. To see him fight Tommy and to avenge Paulie, <laughs> not even avenge because Paulie just got like one hit to the face, but it just shows how much Rocky loves his family and is loyal to his family. And he really considered Tommy to be a part of that. He included him in his family. He, he stayed at his home. He was invited to Christmas and Tommy just took complete advantage of him, used him. No one has a heart like Rocky Balboa. I'm yet to find a character in cinema that has a purer heart than Rocky Balboa. And unfortunately, when you do have such a pure heart like him, it's hard for you to see the badness in other people. It's hard 
for you to recognize that people are using you because you think the best of people because you are like that yourself. You have the purest of intentions for people. You want the best for people and you expect that they are the same. It's the unfortunate truth. Nice people get walked all over all of the time. And this is what happened to Rocky. I felt so incredibly bad for him. And Paulie as well has been taking advantage of Rocky for basically ever since he got his fame and his career. However, he did redeem himself again in this fifth film when he stood by Rocky's side, when he stood up for him and he recognized that Tommy was also using him. At the end of the day, it was the accountant that was Cook. Paulie was just a stupid motherfucker. <laughs> He's just dumb. It was unfortunate how it all played out, but this is life. It was more down to earth than any of the other films because real life problems arose, such as his health. That was always looming. I mean, he has copped a lot of really bad hits throughout his career. He's gotten older as well. And that plot line, I would have been really surprised if it didn't arise. And then, of course, the financial aspect as well. He lost everything that he had. He almost forgot who he used to be. So when he comes back to his hometown, he feels like a failure and a bum again, because he can't provide with what he knows how to do best for his family. And he's stuck in this spot where he knows that he can't fight because of what the doctors have told him, because of Adrian really putting her foot down here. She has said many times to him, no, you can't, don't fight, don't do this. But this is the first time where she actually got angry. She was like, Rocky, you can't do this. You gotta think about your family. She put her foot down and said, no. They've been in fights before, but this, really just felt so real. They yelling the way she said, you're losing your family. And she was right, you know. He really needed that conversation to give him perspective as to what's important because he was losing sight of that somewhat in this film. I also loved seeing Robert Rocky Jr. in this film as a kid. He had so many more lines. He's grown up as well. I think he's like 13, 14 years old or something like that. Last time I saw him, he was much younger, which was kind of strange to me because Rocky Five literally picked up right after Rocky IV ends and the kid is just weirdly older looking. She didn't make sense continuity wise it was a bit weird but putting that aside I was happy to see Rocky Jr. have some more lines. This film felt like it was more about family and love than anything else. Rocky felt betrayed by Tommy. Rocky felt rejected by Rocky Jr. and Rocky Jr. felt rejected by his father. Adrian firmly puts her foot down and steps up and says, no, this is the line, you cannot cross it. So there was a lot of things here that heavily focused on family and his hometown and his roots and Mickey as well. Those visions of Mickey, super emotional, super inspiring. And at the very last fight where he was fighting Tommy in the streets, you see a flash of Mickey again and it's literally what he needed to pick himself back up. So again, super inspiring. I honestly do not understand the hate for this film. Whilst maybe it is the weakest, I'd probably place it fifth in my ranking so far of the Rocky movies. So I think I said the third was my first, then the first, and then the second, and then the fourth, and then the fifth. So that's how I would rank them. However, I do not agree with the hate and the lack of appreciation for this fifth film because it shows us the evolution of Rocky Balboa. He's come towards the end of his career. He's reluctantly retired and he stepped into the mentor shoes, which every sportsman, every fighter will eventually have to go through that retirement. And then what are the next steps? And for Rocky, he really was inspired by Mickey. And I think it was quite a beautiful thing that he went back to the ring where he was trained by Mickey. He made it look like a proper establishment again, and it got back in business and he started doing what Mickey was doing, helping other fighters. And this is over the course of a 20 year period. We've seen Rocky as a junior fighter. He hasn't gotten a title to his name and he really wants that recognition. He wants to fight. In the first film, he was dealing with crooks and you can see that this isn't the way he wants to take his life. He wants to be taken more seriously. Mickey finally gives him a shot and 
that's where he really started to rise and pave the way for himself in the fighting community, in the fighting space. And that's exactly what he wanted to do for Tommy. He wanted to return everything that Mickey taught him, everything that Mickey gave him to Tommy. The problem with Tommy was that he was super young when he got all of that fame. Whereas Rocky was a little bit older and he had a pure heart. Tommy literally had nothing at all. He didn't have a family. I think he was homeless as well, which is why Rocky wanted him to stay with him that first night. So he was really young, really impressionable, didn't have a father figure, didn't have any sort of figures in his life to motivate him. He didn't even have a father figure role like Mickey was for Rocky. So at that point in your life, I can understand how it is easy to be molded in whatever direction. And Duke was really, really manipulative as well. He saw an opportunity and he took it because he just wanted Rocky back in the ring. That's where he was going to make his money. The return of Rocky Balboa in the ring fighting Tommy Gunn. So I don't fully blame Tommy. It was just a shame to see him go that route. However, if he didn't go that route, we wouldn't have a story here, would we? I do think if Tommy makes a comeback in any of these franchises, it'd be nice to see him redeem himself. But I also feel like he is quite influenced by the money since he's never had anything like that. He's never had people in his life that really gave a shit about him. So I think it's harder for him. He's more enticed by the glamour and the potential for fame and being loved. I think that was the main thing when he realized that people didn't love him as much as they loved Rocky and he was constantly going to be under his shadow. It just sort of reminded him that he can't really find that validation, that love, even as a professional fighter. And that's because people can see right through him and they saw what he did to Rocky too. So it was just unfortunate. It was a bit sad, but he really just put it on himself at the same time. But yeah, those were my thoughts on Rocky V. Really wasn't as bad as everybody had made it out to be. I quite enjoyed it. I was entertained. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Really helps my channel out. The uncut version of this film is going to be over on Patreon. The link for that is in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below you just need a copy of the film so that you can watch along with me and i'll have a countdown timer in the description bar below you can also find all of my social media handles instagram twitter twitch discord tiktok facebook and you can find my two other channels my gaming channel and my vlog channel as well thank you so much for watching take care of yourselves guys and i'll see you in the next one bye everyone mm -hmm.